Good morning or good evening, whenever. I'm making a studio, well, I'm going to call it a studio update, a, a workbench update. I've got several projects going on. Uh, I'll figure out what's going on, show you guys what's going on uh, uh, with what I'm doing. Uh, first, I'm making a big mess over here off camera. I finished building my second uh, polar bear chariot, and this is it. As you can see, I made a uh, green stuff saddle, kind of, and have one of the uh, crew up riding the bear, holding the spear out. I think it's a, I think it's freaking awesome. I had to reposition the legs. I think these are, these are legs that came with the, comes on the boys command sprue, um, and for some reason it has like boar 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 legs on it or something. So I cut them apart, repositioned everything, and he's of course pinned down or will be pinned down, separate for for painting, of course. Um, I made my own connecting straps here, and the other guys in the back just prodding the bear in the butt, going go faster, go faster. And this banner is also from the boy sprue. I uh, was trying really hard to put this guy on skis, but the proportions just didn't work out. The combination of the size of the chariot and where it was on the base, I couldn't get anything that I liked, so I skipped it and just went back to the wheels. Besides, chariots are supposed to be on wheels, uh, not skis. Uh, it, I just couldn't avoid it. It just looked too dogs, too much like a dog sled, not enough like a chariot. So wheels, it is. Uh, yeah, this guy's really awesome. He will be done very soon, or started on very soon. Uh, the other big project I've been working on is, uh, once again, working on a uh, 40k project for the 40k forums, 40k radio forums. Uh, since I don't have any of my own 40k projects, I bummed one from my cousin, and it's going to be the Disciples of Caliban, uh, Master of the Raven Wing. Getting some better light on this thing. It's kind of dark, a dark green blob here. Um, so I base coated it with Orchid Shade. It was my first time uh, spraying. Uh, a foundation paint through the airbrush, and that worked out really well. Um, you just got to watch the, the thinning, get it at the right ratio, and get it just the right amount of thinning, and it sprayed with not a problem. And then I uh, ran around and I washed the gaps, some black uh, wash in the recesses, and then I just went over it with a brush and, and Dark Angel's Green to restore the color. Uh, it's almost done. I got to do the power sword. And I have to do um, some highlighting on the gold. And then I have to decide if I want to do line highlighting on the whole thing or just leave it like this. Uh, so it's really close to being done. Oh, and then I have to do the base. So that's definitely going to be a uh, Monday and Tuesday night project to get this finished up. Uh, so those are the two things, two main things I've been working on. I got some instant mold and some gray stuff, and I've been casting up these rocket things here for the Doom Diver. Uh, so these are going to be on the base of the Doom Diver. I'm going to make two more of these. And I'm going to make one that's just like the black half here. So And it's going to be just sticking on a base. Use a small flying base because that's what you're supposed to use. And it's going to be this and maybe a, a goblin uh, butt sticking out of the snow. I think I got that was a comment somewhere on one of my previous videos was to make a, a goblin's butt sticking out of the snow and a smoking rocket next to him. And that'll be my Doom Diver uh, token counter I put down on the table. Um, yeah, so I think we have two of these on the base, so I need two more for the other one. And because I'm going to make two Doom Divers eventually. So uh, the mold isn't perfect, it takes a lot of work because uh, it's not a very uh, easy piece to cast. Um, and surprisingly, that these fins are so thin, uh, they pull out of the mold just fine. There's just enough flexibility in the instant mold where those don't break off. And one thing I did notice in the instant mold, uh, which I hadn't seen talked about before, is that while working with it, it ended up with a lot of air bubbles in it. I don't know if you can be able to see those or not. Probably not. There's a lot of air bubbles in there, and that was just mainly from just like folding, taking the big stick and folding it over, was where most of those air bubbles came from. So I'm not entirely sure how to avoid getting air bubbles in there. Fortunately, I don't think they really sit on the surface very well. So uh, having air bubbles where it's not against the surface of the model isn't a big deal. So I might have to try and redo that because these were a lot of work to get these two rockets where they are now. 
uh, whenever you look at something. See, we're already up to five minutes of rambling. That's surprising. Uh, other projects, I got a couple of boys painted. I built, these are actual night goblins from the night goblin sprue. This will take me up to 30 archers. My goal is to eventually have two units of 20 archers, but I've got a 1250 point tournament in early December, and I want to get uh, 10 more archers pointed up, so it'll give me a, a unit of 30 archers to take that tournament. So what do I have to do? And, and painting is really important to me on that one. I want to make sure I'm fully painted, so i got to make I paint five more orc boys, the two hand weapons, to finish off that unit. Those 10 uh, bowmen, uh, the doom diver, the chariot. I think that's all I have to paint. Yeah, I think I can do that by the 10th of December. Uh, of course, there's still a lot of work to do on the Doom Diver as far as building goes. And i got to get some goblins for the crew. So next payday, I'm going to buy a box of goblins, a goblin regiment, which will give me the crew and stuff I need. Uh, yeah, so that's all I wanted to bring up. Uh, busy, busy with the projects. I like how this guy's turning out. So that's it for this update. I'll show you more when everything's done. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to comment, rate, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys later.